Tweet, dang it. Tweet. Alright, welcome back for more Against the Impossible Storm, the series where I, the Dread Canary, play Against the Storm on Impossible, which is almost, but not quite, the hardest difficulty available in this game. So, uh, last time, we expanded out and found... That's a misclick. Alright, let's try this again. Uh, last time we expanded out and discovered this Fertile Grounds modifier. And we will go ahead and continue pushing in that direction. Now, it uh, looks like we primarily need food to unlock anything in the Citadel. So we will go ahead and push forward. And we are still on the homecoming update where our villagers will return to their homes during breaks to fulfill their needs, uh, which is quickly being patched out and is being worked on on the experimental server for a new and much more exciting version uh, where hearths pay a more, play a more prominent role and decorations matter. Uh, but we're not on the experimental server, we're on my main game, so we're going to continue doing that for now. Uh, so we have to decide whether we want fertile grounds on royal woodlands like we've had for the last two cities, or go into the coral forest. And obviously, for variety, we're going to the coral forest. They're not even giving me, giving me a choice of my beloved beavers, so I have to pick between these two. And right away, I'm noticing I've got nine workers here, but they are harpies, and harpies are moody. They leave so fast. On the other hand, when they're happy, they get you a lot of resolve real quick. They get you a lot of reputation from their resolve real quick. So let's see, we've got 20 coal both sides, we've got 10 wood both sides. The harpies come with pottery and water skins. Whereas the human harpy mix comes with skewers. Honestly, I, I still like this group here. So we'll take this. Uh, we have four embarkation points. We took the herbalist camp last time, so I don't feel inclined to do it this time. I love starting with stone, so I'm going to start with stone. And... No. No, I'm not. I'm going to start with cloth. We're going to start with cloth and eggs. That's what we're going to do. And we are going to call this... Well, I guess more eggs than already than we're already starting with. Uh, we will call this something else. Something like... feather wet. But of course, to make it look like a town, we're going to name it something. <laughs> we're going to misspell it. Uh, let's go ahead and see what we have. All right, so production in all camps is increased by 100%. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. Villager speed off roads are slow. Gaining reputation does not lower in patience, so this just means that we don't turn in any uh, orders to the queen during the storm. Really not a problem. Uh, if they don't have complex food and housing, then they get an escalating penalty to resolve. And harpies are moody at the best of times. This is going to be a problem. This is going to be a real problem, because keeping them in complex food is going to be rough. Housing, not so much. And, okay... 10% chance of do it, you consuming double goods when using services. I don't mind that that much. So really the only problem is going to be melancholy. Where people just get more and more unhappy as the storm progresses. On the other hand, coral, coral forest biome. You get an increased chance of finding fertile soil. That's not the coral forest, that's the modifier we're next to. Trees have different bonuses. And as hostility goes up, we get more chance for bonus yields. Okay. Sounds like a great way to have a rich city. So, as always, we are going to start with our woodcutters camps. We'll toss one over here. Now, I could figure out how to square up my uh, settlement <laughs> uh, in the coral forest, um, but it's time intensive and it doesn't look as pretty anyway as it does when I'm dealing with pine trees, so we're not going to. We're just going to go ahead and vaguely do some nice arcs that don't quite touch the edges. Because I don't really want to open up a new glade in year one.
So we start by making those. We get some basic roads going. And we go to speed two, just so we can get a little bit more movement. Toss some harpies. Now remember that the harpy bonus for working in the fire pit is just increased carrying capacity, which is not great. I don't like it, and I never use it. But who else am I going to put there? I only have harpies. Our first cornerstone. Cosmetic specialization. I have to. I know I have harpies, and it makes harpies happy. Of course, being able to eat harpies might be tasty, but uh, I'm, I'm going to try to not have them leave. And we don't really have any use for scavenger camp yet, but I'll make one just in case so I have the parts locked away. Let's take a look at our orders. Uh, three packs gives plus one fabric production. I don't care about the packs of crops. But the plus one fabric production is huge because harpy buildings, harpy houses specifically, are only made out of fabric. So lots of fabric means lots of harpy houses. Also, uh, harpies like working with fabric to make coats, for example. So odds are good that I'll have a good reason to use that fabric since I've got so many harpies. We're going to go ahead and take the three packs. Trading post, plus 10 amber, gives us tools and parts, which is nice. Clearing glades, which I'll do anyway, and then making three packs of building materials, which will be easier, because I'm making extra fabric, uh, gives us fewer parts, 30 meat, and four people. I feel like tools are the way to go here. Oh, and then I could turn those tools in to get building materials. That uh, seems cheap. Or we can sell even more to a trader to get more people, amber, and some wine. And I don't know if I'll be able to use one because I don't know if I'll end up with beavers. You know what? I like the nature of being able to turn in one quest and immediately turn in a second one. So even though this basically completely undoes the box, <laughs> the uh, trading post, well, not completely. We still get these, and we get Queen's Impatience down. Yeah, okay. Let's go with it. Okay, so... Getting an artisan... Seems worthwhile, because it gives us coats, pigments, and barrels. It's uh, a cloth-using building, so it's going to make harpies happy to use it. It's just a question of how much. The other option here that I'd look at is the ranch. And the advantage of the ranch is that it lets me turn things like plant fiber or grain, if I can get it, into meat and eggs. And of course, since we know there's going to be a lot of fertile fields, the plantation does look interesting. I'm going to go with the ranch, because I like securing food early. Crystallized dew grows on trees here, which makes it very easy to make tools, uh, and that makes the carpenter very, very Healing. But it kind of makes this useless and this useless. Cooperage makes, makes cosmetics, but it makes it poorly. And the cookhouse is really nice for food, but I don't love it. I'm actually... Ooh, it's early. I'm going to reroll. Okay. I'm okay with this because I can take a leather worker. needs two bricks and two fabric, okay? Uh, let's go ahead and get some basic shelters up. Which remember, these are just placeholders. We will be deleting them later. Now, of 
course, you'll remember that the coral biome has three types of trees. We have the plate leaf trees, which give plant fiber in addition to wood. We have the mussel sprout trees, which give meat and crystallized dew in addition to wood. And then we have the crimson reach tree, which gives stone and incense. Now, harpies don't use incense. They're not very religious, unlike humans and lizards. But the fact that you can get uh, that level of good straight out of the trees is ridiculous. It's it's just really good. Um, it is not a high chance, but it's still decent. Okay, we've got everything built. Let's go ahead and put some harpies in here, collecting that stone. It's going to be a bit before we can really do much. Okay, so we're going to end up with what, like 75 almost? Like 70, what is that, 72 stone? Not bad. Should be enough for a couple of bricks, which we'll need for the leather worker. Uh, but also, we can start making stone roads, and stone roads are much better than regular roads. Remember, regular roads are a 5% movement speed increase. Stone roads are a 20% movement speed increase. So that makes things like delivering goods back to your main storage much faster, which means, in turn, fewer, uh, less time spent traveling is more time producing, and that's just an economic boon. Which is why you want short commute times in an advanced economy. So we're chopping away, moving back and forth, just kind of waiting for year one to clear out. We're just trying to get the basis of an economy going so that we can start working on some of these more advanced demands. Now, as I said, harpies are quite moody. They lose happiness so quickly. Um, but unlike last city, we can sacrifice at the hearth. And that means I can burn some of this extra wood. Uh, that does mean that I'm largely just chopping down trees to make space, but I'm kind of fine with that right now. Just so I don't have to deal with their unhappiness. Stone storage is going up. We've already got some crystallized dew. That's fantastic. I just realized how many uh, three by three buildings I took. Let's go ahead and turn off our happy burn. We don't need that right now. Next set of orders. We've got trade goods with amber. Have ten villagers eating jerky. Well, let's do that because. If we have a way of making jerky, this is going to increase how much jerky we can make. Happy Harpies. Bunch of mushrooms gives us five Harpies. No, we're going to go with Happy Harpies. No. Free meat and grain when we solve dangerous events. Or... Ooh, yes, 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 yes. 10% chance for bonus yields, but I cannot uh, control consumptions. Now, controlling consumption is sometimes useful, where you can say, like, I want you to eat this, I want you to not eat this, uh, I want you to t partake in religion, but you guys don't. It's it's sometimes useful, but I don't usually use it a lot, and getting a 10% chance for bonus yield is just huge. Okay, beavers and lizards. So we're without humans this game. Okay, that's fine. Let's go ahead and take two beavers and a lizard. We're going to throw the lizard in here because lizards give bonus resolve. We're going to replace two of these with beavers because beavers have a chance for bonus production. So between beavers' base chance of bonus production and without restrictions, chance for bonus restrict uh, production and... <laughs> 
the inspiring pressure chance for bonus production, uh, we're going to produce a lot. We are going to just produce so much. And soon we'll start wanting to push into these dangerous glades on three sides. But for right now, not just yet. Okay, we've got our leather worker up. Let's go ahead and start. Oh wow, that is a lot of fabric. Let's go ahead and start making that. Meanwhile, we are going to move this lumber camp up here. And we are going to start making some harpy housing. I don't know about you, but I feel the need to put all of my housing where doors can face a road. Uh, which makes harpy housing kind of annoying because it aesthetically looks like it should go back to back but then the doors are on opposite sides and that's just kind of annoying but you know i don't have to do that that's something i choose to do so i mean i'm really make complaining that i'm making it harder on myself than i have to and in that case is it even something i should be complaining about if it's my fault It's like, stop hitting yourself, stop hitting yourself, except you're actually the one hitting yourself, and it's not your older brother hitting you with your own hand. I don't know if that ever actually happens, I didn't have siblings, but, you know, you, you hear stories. Stories come from somewhere, right? So, somebody thought it'd be funny to do to their sibling. Okay, we've opened up a dangerous glade, and oh wow, that is a really nice glade. Bunch of free buildings. I mean, I have to rebuild them, but they're basically free. And an open vault, which we know about open vaults. They make our people really unhappy, but, well, and they make the queen unhappy, but they give us a lot of resources for it. I mean, coal? Coal is nice. Plus the ancient tablets, I might end up with a quest that, get, that requires ancient tablets, getting free planks. Very nice in the early game. So let's go ahead and send some harpies to go deal with this. Okay. If I take one beaver off of woodcutting, then that should solve bit for beaver happiness. My lizard's already happy. There we go. So, happiness is not really a problem right now. And we can go ahead and put up a ranch. There. And you know what, let's put a carpenter here completely blocks that door, but, you know, it happens. I could move this house. And the reason I'm not moving this house is because I'm going to delete this house and replace it with a beaver house. Uh, or maybe just, like, another set of harpy... No, I'm gonna, gonna replace it with the beaver house. Because on this patch, uh, people go back to their houses to fulfill their needs, right? So, it's best to have them close to their work, so that when they take breaks, they're taking breaks nearby. This plantation makes this ranch amazing, because the ranch can use the plant matter that's gonna be grown at the plantation, to make meat. Very nice. Okay, now of course people are very unhappy because, well... No. 
has to be a harpy. But that's very, that's very good. That's very good. There we go. This needs five planks, so we need... We're getting planks. We're getting planks for free, so I don't need anything. That needs planks, which we're getting for free, so I don't need anything. Beautiful. Okay. The queen's unhappy, but year two went very nicely. I like that. Five meat per minute. We don't need meat per minute. I've got a ranch. Uh, we're actually going to go with, I think, forest mitigation. Take archaeology. And we will take ruins. The reason we're taking ruins is it just requires you to rebuild some buildings. And we've got three buildings we want to rebuild already. They're right here. So, yeah. It's great. Toss a beaver in there. Okay. And... Can't really justify that yet. Uh, we do need to start making lumber. So let's go ahead and take one of these guys out and put him here and tell him to make planks. We're not going to have him make any tools yet because we need planks for now. Uh, but as you can see, tools are going to be very easy. What I can do is send these people to rebuild this plantation. And we are going to want to build a hub up here very soon. Uh, Hub, again, is the game developer's name for when you've got a storage building and a hearth uh, in a small area so that you've got like a mini city or settlement. They got a lot better with the patch that's currently on the experimental server, but the experimental server basically leads the regular server by a week. So I'm hoping uh, not the next stream, but the stream after that, we'll be dealing with a, the new features, which are very nice. Ahead and oh, I can't move this right. There is a cost to moving things on this patch. To be fair, there is a cost for moving things on the next patch too, uh, but it's it's quite annoying on this one where houses <laughs> have to be moved quite a lot to m keep up with camps, uh, or you just deal with the fact that people are working far away from their homes. Right, I have 74 cloth. I don't think I need that anymore. Let's go ahead and take those out.
lizards have a bonus to working with me, which is why I'm putting the lizard house right behind the ranch, because the lizards are going to be the ones working the ranch. Just like eventually I want beavers working this carpentry shop, and I want harpies working in this leather worker. But of course... That's not working out for me just yet, so... Gotta make a little bit more housing. Go ahead and do a little bit of a burn here. We can now move this plantation. We might have to move it again at some point, but for now, that's where it's gonna be. And I want... two harpies working in. So let's go ahead and take this harpy out, send them up here. Uh, they can't really harvest or plant during the storm, but what they can do is prepare the soil. And what that does is it gives an increased chance for bonus yields during planting season. Well, planting and harvesting season, I don't know exactly when it counts, <laughs> but it does give a chance for bonus yields, and that's the important part. Because once they are producing plant matter, we can use that in the ranch. Okay. Okay, mist piercers. Increased impatience when you open glades. No. Bonus vegetable production, but global resolve. No. You can see what's in. No, I'm not taking these. We're rerolling. Okay. Wood cutting is way easier. Let's do that. Pretty straightforward. I love wood cutting. Wood cutting is great. If we can get a scribe and a forum. Scribe and a forum. Let's do that. I like that. Okay, that is fully beavers. Um, we're going to leave this as harpies for now. We're going to kick harpies out of here now that we have a decent amount of planks. Turn this on, and we're going to tell we want a max of 50 planks and a max of 50 simple tools, which should be more than we ever need for either. Uh, we're going to put two lizards in here, and we're going to tell the leather worker to make with leather. So what this does, right, is we take two plant fiber, we turn it into four leather, and then we can turn three leather into two fabric as opposed to three uh, plant fiber. So basically two, instead of turning, what would that be? Hmm. Okay. So it would take 12 leather to make eight fabric. We're getting that 12 leather from six plant fibers. So basically, instead of turning uh, six plant fibers into four leather, uh, four fabric, uh, we're turning those six fab, those six plant fibers into twelve leather, which then make eight fabric. It's it's basically uh, what double? <laughs> it's double as efficient. Oh look, there's more. Uh, there's more fertile ground under here. That's that's good to know. You can just see the grass peeking out from underneath the uh, trees, which is great, except I don't really like opening regular glades if I can avoid it. Uh, that said, we should probably make permanent housing at this point. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a trading post. This... Yep, we'll, we'll move this up here. Start collecting from that. Uh, the scavenger's camp doesn't do anything. We're just going to park it in the corner for now. We're going to get it out of the way. I really should have opened up a dangerous glade earlier. Because now it is clearance. Let's go ahead and clear that. 
going to be a bit annoying, but that's all right. We'll deal with this. We'll put this guy here. How are we doing? We have two loose lizards and two loose harpies. Okay. Let's rebuild this druid's hut. And the bakery. And of course, at some point, I need a building that lets me make cosmetics. Okay, we opened this. Okay, that's a problem. That's a problem because we don't have uh, anything to let us deal with it. And we've got basically six minutes to solve it or it's going to destroy everything within ten fields. Hmm. Okay. We have a bunch of stone. Six tools. Okay, no, we're going to be fine. Uh, because we have four tools, right? We have two tools here, so that's six tools. We have two more being made right now. If this guy's next thing is to make two tools, that's going to take about a minute. So between the four in storage, the two here, that's six, eight, plus two is ten, right? So ten tools. We need ten tools to deal with this. Dealing with this takes some, takes just under two minutes. We're fantastic. This is this is great. And it should finish up just about the time one of these gets rebuilt. Excellent. Oh. Oh, this is this is even better. I mean you'll notice the queen is wicked pissed at us. Like she is so impatient. It's been four years. I've done nothing she's asked. She is not happy. But on the other hand, we're about to be able to turn in so many quests. So we'll be able to uh, appease the queen pretty soon. Let's go ahead and just uh, maybe not all of that. Maybe just most of it. We're going to swing this around to this side. Okay. We're going to force delivery now. Okay, we're going to immediately put these two guys on this. And uh, we can either get more coal, more crystallized dew, and copper, or we can get amber and reputation. I'm going to take the amber and reputation uh, because coal's not going to be a problem in a minute, and, and you'll see why. Uh, we have so much crystallized dew already that I'm not worried about getting more, and I don't really want to deal with smelting the ore. Now we do need to get 10 Amber, which we're going to get automatically. So I don't have to do anything with Sahilda, but Sahilda is willing to sell us how to make farms. And right now, I don't know how to make farms. So let's go ahead and tell her we want... ...14 Amber. Uh, we are willing to sell her so much meat. Just so much meat. There we go. Check. Okay. So that's going to knock out that quest. This quest is going to get knocked out really soon when these guys make a little more tools. That's pretty good. Do we have anything that lets us make packs of provisions? Just the makeshift post. 
maybe I should make a makeshift post like right now. So let's do that. Who's not housed? So we're missing a harpy house and some lizard housing. Let's go ahead and... So we've got two lizards working this. And this is going to be lizards. So let's put a lizard house up here. And you know what? Let's put a second lizard house here. How are you guys coming? Because, uh... I... Oh, I need to tell him to investigate it. Jeez. Silly me. Like, why isn't this happening? Well, because I never told it to happen. Over here making myself stressed out for no reason. Um, and I think... Go ahead and make a mine. And you know what else I think? I think that we have... A lot more woodcutters than we need. So let's go ahead and take these guys off woodcutting. Take you off with cutting. Ah, there he is. He was hidden in the corner. I couldn't see him under the steam. But fortunately, we're going to get that knocked out before. Excellent. And we're going to put four beavers in here. And they're going to get four coal per beaver per minute. So we're getting like 16 coal per minute, and that is fantastic because if you burn coal, you burn it at 14 per minute. So basically, we can always do it, and if they get bonus yields, even better. Okay. Free provisions or bonus vegetables. Let's get the free provisions. Let's get a pile of beavers. Because what I can do is I can set these beavers up here to clear out any excess farmland. And let's see, take a look at our final order. Uh, sell ancient tablets to a trader, okay. Uh, sell packs of crops to a trader, and that'll give us the forum. Didn't I have a quest to get a forum? I did. Well, I mean, I think I have to do that. <laughs> uh, we can deliver this immediately. That'll let us deliver this immediately. Very nice. want to overhaul our economy soon, but you know what? For now, this is working out pretty nicely. Uh, where'd that scavenger's camp go? Uh, we... I think I actually want people. So we'll go ahead and do that, and we'll turn this in. One in here, and what we need is three packs of crops and four packs of building materials. So, let's go ahead and make that. So we're going to knock out that. Very cool. Okay, now to be able to get the forum, we need packs of crops. And we need to sell ancient tablets. Okay. So we're going to hang on to our ancient tablets. We're not going to... Uh, oh, well, hey, look, there's more. And this just requires tools, which we basically have. Well, guys, this has been a really smooth two games. I mean, I know the queen got impatient at one point, but, like, she didn't get impatient in a way that I didn't have a plan to fix. Um... So this is this has just been basically smooth sailing for two games in a row, and I'm thinking I might have to do something just to up the stakes in future videos so that this doesn't become me cruising through the game. 
We've got some ideas there, but but we'll see. two lizards in here. Let's put two lizards. Uh, we shouldn't do that yet. We don't have any way of making flour. Once we have a way of making flour, that'll be a lot more important. Um, I do want to turn this into a hub, and I do want to neaten up these roads a little bit. So let's go ahead and clear that. Let's do this. Is that as far as you're going to reach? looks like it. So let's put a storage there. And eventually I think I want to move this back along this way. So let's go ahead and make the road for that and make a beaver house right here as well as a beaver house right here and let's put in a little bit of decoration right there, there we go then down here we're going to repave these roads some of these roads are totally useless like this one back here is just gonna count for one harpy uh, going to take a rest but you know what I like uniformity in my paved roads, so that's what we're getting. There we go. That'll use some stone. Power packs of crops coming. Very well. That is more packs of crops than we needed. So we'll turn that in. All right, now we do need 20 packs of crops that we're going to end up selling. So let's go ahead and make those. Do I have a better place to make them? No. Fair enough. I guess you stay here until you make 20 packs of crops. Meanwhile, let's go ahead and put a harpy back in here to replenish our cloth just a little. And we will put another beaver house right there. Nice stone road. Going all the way around. Very nice. We'll put this in here. Move this back along this way. Move this over here to get this wayward one. So we need to sell those, uh, which means we need a scribe, but I should probably be focusing on making my people happier. So let's do that. There we go. We're just going to burn through it. It's going to be fine. We, we don't need to lower any hostility here. It doesn't really matter. We are going to take... Yes. Investigate that. Um, I have loose beavers. We need more beaver housing anyway, so let's go ahead and make some.
go. Okay. Beaver, 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 beaver. Okay, Druid's Hut and Baker, we don't have anyone in them, but we don't have any way of making flour yet. We should probably take a look at what our four buildings are. Uh, hey, look, a rain mill. Let's, let's get that immediately. We don't need it. Uh, well, Grove could be useful, but I don't think we need it because we're finding everything we need for that on trees. We already have a bakery that we rebuilt. The herb garden is nice. And the herbalist camp is nice. I'm going to go with the herb garden. We already have a bakery. Clothier will just be allowed to let the harpies be happy making clothes for the beavers to wear. Um, the press would let us use oil if we wanted to do a happy burn to win. Let's go with the clothier. The Apothecary lets us make cosmetics, and we have a thing that goes up if we can make cosmetics. So, first off, we cannot currently make cosmetics. Excellent. We're making cosmetics, people. Okay. Trade hub again. Or bonus meat and grains when we solve dangerous glades. Or we burn more fuel, but the storm is shorter. We burn more fuel, but the storm is shorter. That sounds good to me. Uh, we're going to take us off of wood entirely and only burn coal. Yes. Okay. I think that'll work. All right, we need to sell packs of crops. Uh, how many packs of crops do we have? 27. Fantastic. We can make the storm even shorter. It's already shorter because we are trading that for uh, longer <laughs> or uh, shorter fuel break burning times, so we use more fuel in order to make the storm shorter. Making the storm shorter still could be nice. Um, I've already got a druid's hut that we found. And I don't think I need an herbalist camp. So, we're going to ignore all that. And I think we're going to buy ale? Yeah, we're going to buy ale. Okay, that's not enough. Cool. Um, what else can I get? Well, um, if I've got that much ale already, I think I can buy herbs? Yeah. And that covers that. 
So amber is not worth more to traders. We also gain amber. Nice, okay. And you know, with all that amber, I might as well go ahead and get the shorter storm duration. Why not? Don't really need a weaver. I like the bathhouse. I like the bathhouse. Cool. Okay. So, bathhouse is a 3x4. We'll put it there. And the forum is a 4x4. Four four. Oh, you're big. Okay. Uh, we will put the forum... You know, I don't need packs of anything anymore, so we're going to sell this. Uh, and we're going to put the forum right there. That seems worthwhile. You might be like, Dread Canary, why didn't you sell the packs of provisions? And the reason for that is I can use those via trade goods if I want, if I really want to make extra money fast. Like, I can uh, gain five uh, amber by selling 15 coal here in four minutes. I don't love the trade good system, but sometimes it's necessary if you need a lot of amber quickly, or if you are making a metric ton of something and you can't use it all. Scribe and a way of making jerky. Oh, that's a lot of reads. Huh. That's a lot of reads. Okay, we have 24 tools. I'm gonna throw a harpy in here and tell them to make 30 coats. I like making right around double the number of people who can wear the coats or consume the service. So in this case, 30 coats is more than double the number of beavers and that way we always have a spare supply uh, to make sure that the beavers are always Happy. Now let's go ahead and clear this too. Uh, and ale is very nice, actually. Let's go ahead and do that. We are going to lower our number of tools that we want in storage from 50 down to 20. Solid amount of coal coming in. I don't know that I need this many beavers wood cutting. I'm actually going to go down to a single lumber camp. And the reason I'm going to do that is so that I can staff 
uh, for the services buildings, I really like to use one of every race. It's just a dumb thing I do. It's not optimal. It doesn't, like, have any in-game effect, but it makes me feel good. So, uh, I do it, and I'm gonna keep doing it. Okay, and then that should let me burn 28 coal a minute for the, what, minute of storm? Wow. Wow, between it being 33% shorter and 15% shorter, that's like half the storm duration. Oh, wow, that's fast. I mean, the downside, of course, is uh, that that's less time to be productive, so years are shorter. But you know what? I'm kind of okay with it. Okay, free pigment if we make copper bars. We're not doing that. Uh, more meat when we make meat and we are growing meat in a ranch. I'm not too worried about woodcutters because I'm only using three right now. So we're going to go ahead and put one of each in here and that will lower the speed at which people leave when they're unhappy. Uh, it also increases global production rate, so everything we make is faster. Yeah, it does... Oh, it does increase coal. Wow, okay. So now instead of 16 per minute, we're making three... Uh, we're making 16 and three quarters of a minute. So that's like an extra four per minute. That's fantastic rate of speed. Okay. And, you know, I'm loving the beavers, so let's go ahead and continue loving the beavers. Which means I should probably put these guys back on wood cutting. And we are going to open up this glade because I know that there is fertile ground right here. Well, we're going to move this a little closer. Um, beavers really like making... Well, let's go ahead and do this first, because uh, public lectures increases a chance for bonus production yields by another 15%. So we're gonna we're just piling on the ability to get production yields. Uh, how are we doing on coats? Let's put a second harpy in here. You're doing great already. You're pretty good. Let's go ahead and switch that to clay, because we now have no stone. Uh, we used most of our stone to make the great road project. Um, okay, so we can consume scrolls, ale, and cosmetics. We could make biscuits, but we've got a bakery for that. And this has an alchemy bonus, so let's go ahead and put these guys in here. And we want to make cosmetics out of stuff we don't have. That's no good. No bueno. We need eggs. Well, you know what? That's okay. We can figure out how to get eggs. There we go. You're going to make flour out of roots. I need lizards. for me. All right, let's go. Okay, so that's one of the two glades that we needed here. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Oh, we need Harpy Resolve, don't we? Well, if we need Harpy Resolve, there's an easy way to get it. That's a lot of burning. It'll be fine. I mean, it's going to give us everybody resolve. So it's probably a bit overkill, because I could have just favored them. 
Uh, but instead we're doing this, so that's fine. Anything in particular from selling to him? I don't think I do. Yeah. Not really. Okay. Uh, we can straight up buy. Oh, we can lower hostility. We can buy reputation. We can open chests faster. I think I want to lower the hostility. So let's go ahead and one, two, three, four. Check. Uh, let's sell him some tools. Wow, okay. And wait, you're willing to sell me scrolls and ale and cosmetics, all of which I can use. That's really great. So let's sell this uh, and these. I don't even know if I need to sell ale because I've got 77. I only have 16 beavers. So let's go ahead and get that out of here. If I sold all of that, that's way more than I need. That's fantastic. Trade. That lowers hostility of the forest. Um, which is going to keep everybody's happiness way up there. Like, I don't need to be burning nearly this much. You know what? Uh, let's go ahead and move this up here. Pop that open, and we're going to see if we can find a scribe. Not immediately. There it is. So we're going to go ahead and make a scribe. Now, scribe's a pretty small building. We'll just go ahead and wedge it in here. anyone who can build the scribe. <laughs> okay, well, you guys can stop making bricks. I'm going to stop the happy burn entirely. We had eight impatience left. Uh, we had, you know, a bunch of regular events solved. We didn't really do much with Dangerous Glades, but we did have nobody leave and nobody died. And we finished before year eight. So that's overall a pretty quick game. Let's go ahead and go back to Citadel. You know, I forgot to take screenshots, which means I just got to use my generic logo for these two videos. Oh, well. Go to Deeds. Hey, another decoration. That'll be very useful when we use the next patch. Now we're going to go to upgrades. And let's go... Well, we can only get two, so let's see what we got. S Traders come sooner and you can have another trade route. If villagers move faster, you get an extra point. That's huge. Oh, we may only be able to get one. We don't have enough food for two. Uh, 
slower impatience growth and timed orders bonus production and greater chance of finding fertile soil construction speed let's go ahead and take the embarkation bonus Well, that'll be it for today's episode of Against the Impossible Storm, where I play Against the Storm, the game from Aramite Games on Impossible. Uh, again, I thank you for watching. If you're watching this on YouTube, keep in mind I do stream this on Friday nights at 9.30 Eastern Time until I have completed two cities. And then again on Sundays at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, again until I've completed two cities for a total of four cities per week. We're going to keep playing on Impossible until we have unlocked all levels of play. At which point, I've got ideas for a new series. Uh, but hey, quick, before you go, let's check out this chest. We found some machinery. <laughs> Alright. Love finding machinery in the clouds. It's just a fantastic feeling. Uh, so thank you for watching. I'm the Dread Canary, and I wish you all a great night.